Hello friends, um, I wanted to share something, um, I guess a little bit of information today about something really cool that I've been using for the last couple of months. It is called the Freestyle Libra. I'm using the 14 day. Um, it is a flash glucose monitoring system. Um, if you are diabetic, you've probably heard about CGMs, Continuous Glucose Monitor. Um, this is the same idea, but it's a little bit different. Um, so I just wanted to share my experience with it. Um, please know I am, you know, not affiliated with Freestyle in any way. Um, not a doctor, not a medical professional. Professional. Um, this is just, I've been using it for about two months now. This is my fourth sensor. They're good for two weeks. I'll get into that. Um, so I've been using it for a little bit and I figured, you know, kind of found some pros and cons, just wanted to share them. So um, just really quick, they come, um, you have a scanner and then you have the sensors. Um, the sensors are sold individually like this. They're good for 14 days. Um, with a prescription, you just get them right from the pharmacy. Um, same thing with the sensor. I put a cover on it, by the way. It doesn't come purple. <laughs> um, you get the scanner from the pharmacy as well. It's sold individually in a box that looks just like this. Um, so, some of the cons. Um, I'll start with the cons and then I'll tell you all the pros. Um, the con, the biggest one for me is just that it's not actually a CGM. So what, what's the difference, basically? It's not constantly monitoring um, in that it's not like checking on everything for me and telling me if there's a problem. It always has all of my numbers, all of my data, um, but I have to scan it in order to get that information. Um, CGMs, what they do is they're constantly monitoring and when there's an issue, it gives you an alert. So like it's actively watching, whereas mine is kind of passively watching, if that makes sense. Um, so with a flash glucose monitor, which is what the Libra, um, the 14 day is, is it doesn't tell you anything unless you ask essentially. So in order to get my data, I have to scan it and then I can see everything from the last time that I checked. It gives me my graph of the last 24 hours. I can go back and look at everything basically from since I started wearing it. Um, but it doesn't tell me if there's a problem. Um, that being said, there's, um, there's something out there, I apologize, I forget what it's called now, because it's not available in the US. <laughs> um, but it's basically something that you put on top of the Libra scan, the sensor, um, and it turns it into a CGM. So that little Bluetooth piece goes on top of it. It's like its own little scanner. Um, and then it transmits the data to you. It gives you alerts. It gives you all of those things. I don't know exactly how it works because like I said, it's not available in the US, so I cannot get it. <laughs> um, I just know that it's out there. Um, maybe at some point in the future, it'll be available to us and that'll make my Libra fully CGM. Um, we'll see. But for the time being, it's just flash. Um, one of the other cons that, that I've found is it takes um, one hour once you put on the new scanner for it to, uh, to get itself set up and within that hour you can't check it. So that being said, if I need to know during that hour, I do a finger prick. <laughs> you know, seriously, I've been doing finger pricks for how long? Um, it's not that big of a deal, but you do have that one hour where you can't use it. Um, and once that one hour is up, I typically do check at least for the first few hours um, whenever I need to know, just to make sure that it's accurate. Um, I had one sensor where I, I think it was the second one that I used. I put it on, I had it all set up, confi um, all ready to go, and went to my, you know, had dinner and then went to my son's t-ball game. At the end of the game, I was getting up from my chair and I said, oh, you know what, I should just check. And it said I was 44. And I was like, no. And of course my husband's freaking out now at this point. He's like, oh my gosh, sit back down. It's like, no, but I don't feel 44. Like that's, that's really low, by the way. Um, like, and I've, I've been that low, and that doesn't, I don't feel like this. So I did a finger prick, 
And um, on my meter, I was 112, which is normal. That's great. So I was like, all right, so there's, there's a problem here. <laughs> um, and it took about 12 hours for it to kind of work itself out to a point where I was getting like within five points um, between the scanner and the monitor and the regular like finger prick meter. Um, that has only happened once where it was that far off after putting on a new scanner. Usually it's within four to five hours. I'm within a couple of points. Um, but it's just, you know, something to be aware of. Um, con, uh, one other con for you. You're not able to re, like it's good for a set amount of time, the scanners, or the sensors, I'm sorry. And then once it's done, it's done. There's no way to rescan it and reset it up. Um, I know that with some other systems, you can do that. Like if it's good and it's accurate and it's still going really well, you can somehow finagle it to keep going. You can't do that with the Libra. That being said, <laughs> it's good for 14 days. Um, that's really good. So the ones that you can finagle, that's the Dexcom, which by the way is an amazing system. Um, I've heard fabulous things about it, but those those sensors are only good for three days. Um, three days versus 12, versus 14, um, that's huge. So no, I'm not able to get my sensors back up and going again, but they're good for 14 days. Um, that's a big deal. Um, one of, I guess one of the other major cons for me, I said the major one before was that it's not a true CGM, but what the, I guess the biggest truly, is that you're very limited in where you can put it, um, the sensor. Um, according to Freestyle, it has to be on the back of your upper arm. That's it. You know, left, right, doesn't matter, but on the back of your upper arm, that's it. Um, so for me, I've only been wearing them on the back of my left arm. Um, I am a righty. Truthfully, I don't know that that makes a difference. I can do it this way, but I tend to sleep on my right side. Um, and I feel like that would just be uncomfortable to have to be sleeping on it. Um, I'm sure that at some point I will switch it to my right side just to give my left arm a break. Um, you, you are kind of limited in where you can put it on the back of your arm because there are certain spots where you just tend to catch things more doorways and whatever. Um, it happens there. I'm in a Facebook moms group for diabetic moms. Um, and there are, are some who have commented in that group that they have put it on their thighs and on their stomach, um, that their thighs actually worked out pretty well and that their stomach worked, but it wasn't super accurate. Um, I have not tried either. Freestyle does not suggest using either, so I, I would certainly not say to do it. Um, I've, only tr I've only worn it on my arm, which is what the directions and all of the information from Freestyle says to do. I would love the option of putting it on my stomach, honestly. <laughs> um, it's it's just easy, um, but whatever, for, you know. It is what it is for now, it's gotta be the back of the arm. Um, so on to the pros, and there are many. Um, yes, this is a system that is not a true CGM system. However, the value for what you're paying is astronomical. Um, I mentioned the Dexcom. I looked into the Dexcom, uh, the G6, which is a, a pretty new system, um, before I got the Libra. Um, and Dexcom is fabulous. It has all kinds of bells and whistles. Um, it sends you alerts if you're getting too high, too low. It can also send your alerts to someone else that you designate so like it could alert my husband if my numbers are too low you know all of that is amazing um, and it was going to cost me after insurance a thousand dollars just to get started and then it was going to be two hundred dollars in supplies every couple of months and those are all amazing benefits but that's more than I can pay <laughs> um, I just can't pay that and to be quite honest I'm pretty well controlled um, I've gotten to a point where I don't go low very frequently, and when I do, I can feel it. Um, so there, there are some who the cost doesn't matter. 
that's something that they need. Maybe they don't feel it when they, I have a friend who doesn't feel it when she goes low. Um, and for her, something like that is huge. That literally could save your life. Um, at, at the point that I'm at right now, I don't feel like, you know, as awesome as those benefits are, they're not necessary for me. They would just be a nice perk. Um, so I opted to go with the Libra, which after insurance, I got my scanner and three months of sensors for $100. That's amazing. <laughs> That's really, really good. Um, I think that out of pocket, no insurance, one sensor is about $30. And again, that lasts for two weeks. Um, and I believe that just out of pocket, the scanner is around 100. Um, so let me show you how this cool thing works now that we're talking about all the pros. So literally all you do is you turn it on and it says you're ready to scan. You hold it to your sensor and it gives you your reading. Yes, I know I'm high right now, sorry. Um, but, and then it tells you up in the corner, current sensor ends in three days. So I have to change it in a couple days. And it shows me my graph for the day. I can, up here, I can add a note if I want to, if it'll let me. I'm trying to do this backwards. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not adding note. If I wanna go back, this is kind of like all the buttons in one. I can hit review history. And then it can ask me all these things. What do I want? Do I want my log book? I haven't logged anything truthfully, so there's nothing in there. Um, it can give you your average. It's a little not very sensitive. Um, so my average today is 149. Not fantastic, but not terrible. Um, and then it can give you your daily graph and you can like flip right through it. And it gives you everything. So like it shows you while you're sleeping, like the whole nine yards. Basically it fills in, like every time you scan, it fills in on here everything since the last time that you scanned, which is amazing. It's really awesome to be able to see all of that. And something else that's very, very cool, there's something called Libra Link, which is Libra's app and their website. Um, it's a really fabulous way of sharing all of your data. Um, it wasn't available on Android up until about a month ago, and it is fabulous, it is so nice. Um, so what you can do through Libra Link is, first of all, store all of your data, which I mean isn't, isn't essential because it's, it's all on here. Um, it's not going anywhere from here. Um, but I can store it all on LibraLink and then my doctor can access it, which is amazing. So I go into my endocrinologist and he says, you know, can I have your thing, your scanner? I hand him my scanner, they plug it into their computer and he can see all of my data, all of my numbers, everything, where I've been going high. We can talk about what was going on on certain days and see if certain things caused certain things. Um, and he has everything. Um, we can see maybe where I spiked that I wouldn't have known about because by the time that I had lunch, I'd come back down again. We realized that that was happening every single day. Um, I was spiking after breakfast, but by the time that I would finger, but I felt fine. And by the time that I would do another finger stick before lunch, my numbers were okay. So we assumed I was fine, but then we saw my graph and realized there was a spike. So we had to adjust. Um, so it's really cool that it gives you that data. Um, and then something else that's awesome is that you can share it from home. So I had an issue where I was all of a sudden going low several times a day, every day for like three or four days in a row. And I called my doctor and I was like, I, I haven't changed anything. I don't know what's wrong. Um, so he said, upload everything and we'll talk. So I uploaded everything from home. Um, all you have to do is with the US, mini USB, hook it to your computer upload it to their website. My Libra account is linked to my doctor's Libra account and he was able to just get in and look at everything. And he could see all of my data and we were able to just make adjustments to my insulin over the phone. How awesome is that? Um, and now that there's the app on, um, on Android, I have the app on my phone now um, and I can scan with my phone, which is awesome. Um, and doing it that way, it automatically loads it to Libra, to Libra Link. So I don't have to do the whole hook my scanner up to my computer thing. It's already on there because of the app, which is very, very cool. Um, and it's also nice that I can use my phone because that way, if I forget to bring my scanner with me when I go out, 
um, I have my phone. And I have done that. I have forgotten to bring my scanner and then I've had to go back to finger pricks while I'm out because what are you gonna do? Um, so another huge benefit for me is that um, my kids did not love to see me testing and you know doing every it was just it was a lot for them my daughter especially she was getting really nervous she always wanted to know what my numbers were and I tried to involve them as much as I could but there's only so much that they're able to do like I tried to let them do one of my insulin shots and I ended up with a bruise massive bruise that lasted for like two weeks um but this this is something that they can do they love to say mommy can I scan you I'm like a robot to them <laughs> and all that they have to do is press the button turn it on and scan me which is amazing so if anything ever happens where I need to test but I'm not able to my kids know what to do they know you push the button you hold it to the thing and that's it and they can see what my numbers are um, I hope that they never need to do that but if they do they know how to um, it's there's just so 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 many benefits to this I've been able to get better control of my numbers because I'm checking at times that I normally wouldn't because let's be serious here finger pricks a bajillion times a day is just not fun um, I had so many tiny little red dots all over my fingers from testing all the time um, and I would have times where I would think I don't really feel right but I don't feel terrible I wonder what my sugar is mm, I don't really want to test again and I wouldn't because I didn't want to test again um, which is not a good thing to do but there but here we are um, but now I can check every five minutes if I want to I just have to scan um, and that's amazing so it's a beautiful thing I don't have to do finger pricks at all I do um, like I said the first five or six hours after I put on a new sensor just to make sure that it's accurate um, that I'm getting you know close enough reading between my scanner um, and a regular meter but once once it's close enough and for me that means like five to ten point difference I don't finger prick anymore unless I feel very different from what my scanner is saying um, usually it's pretty right on granted one tiny con that I'm gonna throw in there if I'm dropping fast it doesn't pick that up um, it there's a little bit of a lag time um, so there have been times there was a time that I just felt really like it wasn't good um, I was like I'm going low I know I am um, and I checked with the scanner and it said I was 60 which is low um, and I knew that but I was like I feel worse than that like I feel that that's not right and I checked and I was 40 um, so it I just was dropping too quickly for it to keep up um, so it knew that I was low it just didn't know how low um, so like the the ups and downs it gets it just doesn't always keep up with them quickly oh something that I forgot let me show you so after your number it gives you an arrow so that arrow you know just regular line straight line shows that my number is pretty steady right now um, I had lunch recently <laughs> it's just keeping me pretty stable at the moment it also gives you like slightly curved angles up or down and that means you're going down or up but slowly and then it gives you straight arrow up straight arrow down and that means you're either going up or down very quickly um, the down very quickly well the up really quickly too you don't really want those <laughs> um, but you know it is what it is it gives you an idea it gives you a pretty good idea of whether or not there's something happening that it's it just can't keep up with so like in that instance where it said I was 60 it also had an arrow going straight down which kind of gave me an indication like it it knows that this is happening quickly um, and it just can't keep up with it so if you are considering um, a glucose monitor other than a meter there is a difference there um, the meter is when you do the finger pricks monitor is something along these lines um, I would very very highly recommend grabbing the Freestyle Libra this is the 14 day that I'm using um, 
there are other options available. I believe there's a 10 day, but it does require you to do one finger prick a day to calibrate it just to make sure that it's all accurate. Um, don't quote me, I think that's how that one works. Um, like I said, this is the only one I've ever used, the, the Libra 14 day. Um, I've had fantastic results with it. Yeah, there are a few cons, but I think that the pros massively outweigh them. Um, and with all of the systems out there, this is the most cost effective, um, and it's definitely worth it. So it's definitely something to consider, something to chat with your doctor about. Um, yeah, if there's any questions that you guys want to know more about, if there's something I didn't mention, please feel free to put it in the comments and let me know, and I'll uh, try to find you an answer for it if I don't know personally what that answer is. But I hope that you guys have a great day, and I hope that some of what I've been able to share with you has been helpful. I will see you soon. Bye.